Hi, welcome. As you probably noticed, the SZ basis is the standard basis. SX and SY were previously written in that basis, but it's not always the case. One might be interested in finding, for example, SZ in the SX basis. How can it be made? Changing the base can be confusing for some of you, but I'll make an analogy with the noun case. Previously, we had the eigenstates uh, of the operator SX given by the eigenvalue equation for the operator SX is given by therefore if we assume an SX represented by a general matrix as we did previously like this and we plug the eigenstates of the operator SX into the eigenvalue equation we will find the SX representation in the SZ basis. So, but why in the SZ basis? Well, that's simple. Just look at this equation right here. As you can see, the eigenstates of the operator SX are written in terms of the eigenstates of the operator SZ, which means that our operator SX is being uh, written in the SZ basis. Based on this analogy, if we want to write the SZ in the basis of SX, first we have to write the eigenstates of the operator SZ as a linear combination of the operators of the SX. But the eigenstates of the operator SX are known to be... Now you can invert this expression and find the eigenstates of the operator SZ as a function of the eigenstates of the operator SX as shown here. Writing these cats in matrix notation and the eigenvalue equation will be like this. And now we just have to assume an operator as C represented by this matrix. For spin up, we can write this eigenvalue equation and we can plug all the values we already know here as z is represented by this matrix the cat plus is given by this these terms cancel out if we multiply here we end up with a plus b equal to h bar over 2 c plus d equal to h bar over 2. For spin down, we can write this eigenvalue equation, plugging the noun values here. Now it, the two entries are 1 and minus 1, because this is the uh, matrix representation for the for the this comp component these terms cancel out and then we if we multiply here we have a minus b h bar over 2 and uh, c minus d plus h bar over 2 now if we look at these two equations we can find it to a equals 0 which means A must be 0 to B equal H bar, which means B equals H bar over 2. 
if you look to these two equations we have to c equal h bar then c equals h bar over 2 to d equals 0 which means d is 0 hence we can write as z in the sx basis as this matrix right here this is the sz representation in the sx basis if you recall from the previous videos you see that the sx in the sz basis is given by the same matrix this is due to symmetry the way that cat plus and cat minus and cat plus subscript x and cat minus subscript x are defined this result couldn't be different as the cat equations are identical except by the index so thanks for watching bye bye